Hi, uh, I'm Pete from Eco Fires and Stoves. Um, in my shorts, it's summer months at the moment. Um, so really give me a good opportunity to start uh, testing stoves like we normally do um, throughout these months. Gives us time, get a real good idea of new products and what have you. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a, a couple of stoves. Um, one being, the first one being the Leaf Stoves Willow Classic. Um, we've been trying to find a, a, a well-priced stove that's got some quality about it, so we've asked around uh, our friends within the industry and just had a, a little bit of talk going on, so we thought we'd get one in and, and, and test it out properly. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, don't actually do a review on it for you. Um, so if you're considering a, a pretty little stove like this, with uh, Leaf Stoves, they, they do a couple of options on the, on the sizes, but generally this is the design you're going to be looking at it. It's called the Leaf Willow Classic, this particular one. Okay, five kilowatt stove. Okay, first thing we noticed, um, nice handle on it. It's a metal handle and it's a solid handle. They normally get very, very hot because they're a solid handle with no ventilation. We found that after it's uh, got up to temperature, it's not that bad. Still recommend a glove, um, but it's a nice solid feeling handle. Okay, door's a little bit stiff on it, on the catch, we found that. That's quite common on a new stove, so that'll probably loosen up anyway. Okay, so we've got a door that swings open nicely. Very important, um, so you've got good access uh, to the firebox inside. Okay, you do have a grate and an ash pan. It's a multi-fuel setup. We only really sell these as wood burners. We, we hardly ever sell multi-fuel stoves because wood burning is obviously the way everything's going. So uh, you, with the size of firebox for this, output a stove it's not a bad size I'd say pretty average um, for a five kilowatt stove okay so I'm going to load the stove up what I'm going to do I'm going to get this going for you so we can see it in its full glory but I'm not going to expect you to sit there watching the video while it heats up um, but I'm going to start the process of uh, getting it going for you like I say it takes easily takes two standard logs which is eight to nine inch plenty of room either side so it's going to accept a 11, 12 inch log without a problem at all. Okay, so let's set her up in the normal way. The famous top down lighting. Build our little kindling pile around the fire lighters. As with all demonstrations, I do like to get it up to temperature quite quickly, so I do put quite a bit of kindling on there. Again, it's got a nice height on the firebox, so you can actually get that, get that flue hot very quickly by building the kindling right up. We use these nice natural fire lighters now. We don't use the uh, the um, sachet petroleum ones anymore. Not that they weren't good at doing their job. It's just that they were um, not considered as eco-friendly. So, in the showroom, I usually use a blowtorch, but. I've had a few comments saying I'm a cheat, so. Do it as you would do at home with matches. So, controls fully out. The Willow stove has two controls, primary air and secondary air, or air wash. Okay, the primary air, as on all other stoves like this with two controls, it's like bellows on a fire. So it's just putting the air in the right places to get the fire up to temperature. Um, again, like all other stoves, we leave the door slightly ajar for the first few minutes. Um, that just allows extra air to go into the firebox to get that stove, uh, you know, to get the flue up to temperature, should I say, not the stove. It's got quite a high baffle on this. Okay, up here. And this deflector here. Usually when you've got that quite high, you get quite a bit of spillage out the stove. Um, with that, that smoke, when, when you've got the door open, you get quite a bit of smoke coming out. On these, you don't get that problem. I think it's because it's slightly closed down on the firebox, so the opening size to the flue size is kind of correct, if you like. Um, and a lot of stoves struggle at the moment because they're trying to make the windows too big, which I'll be, I'll be explaining in another video. Okay, so that's getting the fire established. I'm going to shut the door now. 
One thing I have noticed with this stove over others, the primary air that you pull out, it's not as intense at getting the air in that firebox and other stoves. So it seems like it's slumbering away a little bit and not really trying very hard. Um, but we haven't found it's caused a problem at all because we've left it to do its thing. We've come back 10 minutes later and it's been absolutely fine. Okay, um, so all good things about the stove at the moment. Another thing we noticed uh, when we brought this stove in, we thought, well, that's made out of a decent thickness still and it feels nice and solid. Um, and that actually showed in its heating up process because quite often you would get creaking going on and clanging and banging with some you know, cheap stove, cheaper stoves, well, not, not necessarily cheaper stoves, even some very expensive stoves. Um, we found that happens and it's all about the, what they're, how they're put together. Um, it's got a convection top, so you've got air, you've got uh, air um, gap under there, which is gonna warm up and cause a bit of convection. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave the controls fully open, as you would at home. What's the time? It's uh, 11 minutes past 10 at the moment. So I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes time and just see how that's doing. Okay. Right, back to the Leaf Stoves Willow Classic. Um, I've given it a little bit longer, put another log on it, so it's about half an hour. Uh, yeah, about half an hour on. Um, it's kind of up to working temperature, which is normal, uh, that sort of time, half hour to 45 minutes usually. Um, I, I used to say 45 minutes to an hour because you really know it's up there then. But it's enough to show you how responsive this stove is. Bearing in mind, it's on a five inch outlet. Um, this one, there is no uh, direct air feed on this particular one. Okay. Um, like I said, it's been on half an hour. That hasn't really got hot at all. Quite a good feature on a stove. Again, I'm not recommending you touch it, but that barely felt warm to me. Okay. Um, no flames spilling out the stove like you do get on a lot of five inch outlets. So really good. Doing well this stove. Now it's up to temperature, I can show you how responsive it is. Okay. You shut down your primary air control. Okay, now you're just running off the main control here. Okay, it's a lovely responsive stove. Once you get that set, it burns so efficiently. It reacts to the amount of air you put in it um, and it's all visual. You can get that so well set on this stove. So I've actually had a good sized log burning for over an hour on here, on a normal eight inch log. So that burnt for over an hour, that's really good. Usually it's about 40, 45 minutes on a, on a, on a stove like this. So I'm really, really impressed with this thing. Um, Pretty readily available too, which is good at the moment. Um, British made, five inch flue, solid build. What's not to like about it, you know? So we're gonna be selling quite a few of these, I think, in the, in the near future. There you go, that's the Weef Leaf Stoves Willow Classic, British made, A plus efficiency. Okay.